My dad found a car, a very rare car the other day. It is a 1962 Lincoln Continental. Suicide door, very rare. We haven't seen it. Supposedly it's a one owner car, zero rust. We're gonna find out right now exactly if it is a good car or not. So I was on Facebook Marketplace and, and I'm constantly looking, you know, what's been listed in the last 24 hours. And this 62 Lincoln, one owner, 70,000 miles, convertible, came up for 20 grand. You can't even find a convertible anywhere for 20 grand. So I call the guy, he tells me, look, there's like almost zero rust in it. it We're gonna find out right now yeah, if there's and, zero and rust. He's got, and I'm sure he's had numerous calls because you can't find an old Lincoln, which Brad wants to take and, you know, make it like the C10 Slayer and make it kind of crazy. So I immediately put a thousand bucks down on it. I've never seen the body. I know they got a new deck lid, but we're going to look at it right now. We got it in the trailer. It just came out of South Carolina. Cross our fingers. It's not like a complete rust bucket. It's not supposed to have any rust. The guy seemed pretty sincere. Oh, he no. did. Yeah, but hold on. He did say the deck lid had rust, and he's got a brand new deck lid on the front. I know, but if the deck has rust, that means a lot. <laughs> you said rust free? Well, he said it didn't appear to have any rust. Original paint, one owner, Lincoln Continental. How's she look under there? Uh, pretty rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could tell that the, the paint is split on it, but that doesn't you know mean why? it's rusted. This is, this is old lacquer. What do you mean? Well, the old lacquer paints did this. Really? This is a single stage paint lacquer, and huh. you, they get spider cuts. But look, there's nothing underneath. Oh, check out the wheels. He said he had a set of old school wheels. Oh, those come with it? Yeah. Oh, those are, will those fit? I, he says they will. Man, the interior looks really nice in this, actually. Supposed to be a virgin, virgin car. This is exciting. An original car never been painted. That's rare. Yep, perfect. Just like that. Just like it is. All right, just let it roll way back. How's it, how's it feeling there? We good? Oh, the yeah. suspension's soft. Look at that bad boy! Whoa, this thing looks good! Oh dude, it's it's nice and soft. This is clean. See, this is... Oh okay, without a doubt, we got lucky. Well, hold on, Dad. We my dad's talking. We haven't even looked at it. I'm looking at the body. It's never been, you can tell it's never been touched. Look at the body. Now, here's the cool thing. It's this is original paint. And you can see it's all lacquer. That's all that lacquer. Uh, shut the door. Let's, I wonder, I wonder how the doors line up and shut and stuff. Oh, solid. Yeah, look at this thing. You know, the top is not bad either, Brad. I think at this point, we're just gonna kind of go through this whole car with you guys. Uh, did, was it running? Did, did the guy say it was running? Yeah. They, all he did is he fired it up, didn't drive it anywhere. All I wanted him to do is just get it running. And so there's no battery. So I stopped and I got a battery here about 30 minutes ago. But this thing was... So the pain obviously is not great, but that's okay. Yeah, but I, I, I like the color it is. I, it's never been body worked. Yeah. This is an original paint car from 1962. Door shut good. I mean, this is kind of what you have with just the older vehicles, you know, just there's there's gonna be some love that we need to do to this I want to ask you guys what do you guys think should we do this like as like a pretty paint style vehicle like bodywork the whole thing paint it incredible or should we keep it more like as is old school uh, maybe patina it or do something that's just more like you know get it running as is and fix it put that in the comments on what you guys think I did not know that these wheels were coming with it Dad, did, do you know what kind of wheels these are? Uh, I don't know, but I love the style of them. I know. So the question is, is are these gonna work on the actual Lincoln? I'm not 100% sure. Did, did he get these wheels, specific wheels for the Lincoln? No, he said he had this for another project, uh, for a Cadillac, but the Cadillac had a nine. Oh, dude, that's sick on there. The Cadillac had nine inch uh, rear end and, and it was switched over, so. Does the AC work? I don't even know if it has AC. 
Oh, those would look good. Let's get him out of here. We'll get the hood out of here. Let's put the uh, um, battery. battery in and just see if this thing fires up. I think we just clean this thing up. Drive this bad boy. <laughs> we're just pushing it into the shade a little bit so we're not working in the direct sun. It's super hot today. Look at my dad. How's it going up there? I feel like a mule. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell whoever had it actually took really good care of the interior. Like all, all the buttons, you know, I don't know what works. Look, this this is old school wood grain, but it's kind of it's kind of chipping, you know, it's it's weathered. I don't hey, know. What is this? I don't know, but we've got power windows. Nice! Oh, oh no. <laughs> I wonder if it's got AC. Is this what you used to have back in the 1912s? Oh! Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This thing is uh This thing is <laughs> Dang, is there, you see air conditioning on that side? Dang it. Nothing. It's a non-AC car. Well, there's a there's a heater button in there. Oh, did he put new yeah. coils and stuff? Yeah, he put new uh distributor cap points. And he rebuilt the carburetor. Oh, God. You hear that? That does not sound incredible. Oh, oh, gosh. See all that mouse poop? Oh. Yeah, my little mouse poop is okay. He's got some new parts in here. We're going to find out right now if it fires up. I want to check the oil, check everything out. The, uh, the air filter right off the bat was extremely dirty. Um, the over the overall shape of the car is very very good, I think. The, the you know the hood. A lot of times you'll see rust kind of under a lot of these areas that the water kind of wraps around and and gets. But all in all, I I think this is you know my dad's right. I think this is an extremely rare car. And uh, just so you guys know, um, we we paid twenty thousand dollars for this car. I didn't know it came with those wheels. I gotta look up what brand wheels those are. I bet those are at least probably two, three thousand dollar wheels. So if you minus that off the price, I, I think it's we're sitting pretty good. And it's very hard to find a convertible 1962 to 1964 car. Uh, we'll open up the trunk and check that out. Easy. Cow, and something is. is wrong with the motor. Subscribers, I'd love for you guys' advice. You know, what what would we motor swap into this? Would we do like an LS base, a Coyote, a big block, small block? What would it be? 2JZ? Something crazy? What the heck's a 2JZ? You don't know what a 2JZ is? No. It's because you're, uh, you're an old school V8 guy. Does anyone even know what motor this is? I don't even know what motor came in these. Oh! Purrs like a little kitty cat! Look at all these lines moving and everything. This is ah. Is that how you check the oil? It's got an oil can? Oh my god. That fuel. It looks like a new fuel filter. Oh no, it's smoking. Oh my gosh, it's smoking. What is Did you see that? I think the guy we bought her off was a man of his word, don't you? 100%. This is what I like. He went through the whole car, said there was a little bit of rust in the trunk, but he has a new trunk lid. Told me that the motor's out for the top. He goes, but other than that, never been painted, original paint, doesn't appear to ever be wrecked, even he said that, and one owner. Oh, you wanna see the title? Yeah. That is kind of what's crazy, is this is a one owner car. So if you think about that, like how old these cars are, these cars have become so popular in the last 10 to 15 years, and uh, to have a one owner is pretty impressive. So apparently, um, this was bought by this guy's dad, and his dad passed, and he changed the title in 87. So it's it was his dad's, and then he just put it in his name. Look at how old this title is. You don't even see a title like that. No. That is awesome. I understand why he has a new deck lid for it, because look, at some point, this opened, and it, it, it probably forcefully open backwards and it, and it broke that that deck lid a little bit yeah see when this opens then this whole thing goes in here and then this opens up 
and then it lays back in this area so uh we're not going to be able to do this because this has to fold back out this yeah everything's done in sequence well why don't we just go drive it as is i want to just look back here you know, hey, we, we, we need to find someone that knows how these tops work and if we know if we could get someone out here they could run through this and have this top yeah. working quickly well there's a lot of wires as you guys can see look at all the wires in this thing there's no rust here i don't see any visual rust uh maybe a little no not even here and usually you would have rust right here but that's the original spare tire you think oh for sure look at it look at how old school the sidewalls used to be that's a lot of detail 14 by nines take it for a little ride see what it does all right we're gonna go for a ride uh just want to show you guys some of the interior well i always love opening just old cars to kind of see just different things of uh you know what's been left in here from the previous owners thousand mile inspection wow look at that you guys no dad i just found something awesome what is that thousand mile inspection no way Wow. Look at all the old writing. Are you kidding? This has got to be a rarity. Wow. At one point in time, someone drove this off the lot. So excited. This must have been just some stuff when, you know, he bought the, uh, probably bought the car and it just tells you different maintenance items. All right, let's try this old boy out. Oh, hey, this thing smokes like a big dog. Well, it probably hasn't been ran in how long? Give a little gas. Let's go clean it out. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you see the smoke? Oh, oh my gosh, look back here. Hold on, let me, let me go look. <laughs> Hey, hold on. Why is it so smoky? Look at it. All right, it's bad. I want you to just take off by me, okay, Dad? We're just gonna we're gonna make a few passes before we uh, take it out on the uh, the old the old open street. Oh, it's knocking, boys. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's knocking. Yeah, that thing does not sound good at all. Oh, I hit the horn? <laughs> hey, that, it's knocking when you go. Let me try it again. Still smoking? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Holy. Yeah, we, uh, we definitely got to tune her up. <laughs> Look at that neighbor. They're, like, covering their mouth over there. Let me hop in with my dad and let's just go drive around the block and I just kind of want to feel out the car and oh gosh, this is fun you guys. This is actually fun. So it just died. All of a sudden my dad just pulled back. I'm about to hop in. So this isn't a good sign. We're about to uh, drive down the block and just having a little problem here. Okay, we're back running. All right, let's, let's try it out. You probably don't know this, but when, like, say you got the station you wanted, and you wanted it right there, and say you wanted it on number one, you pull this out, and that locks that in, and then you push it in, and now it's always right there. Watch. No way. Yeah, that's how you that's how you would adjust the station. You pull it out. I can't believe all that actually works. Brakes still good? Yeah. Oh, they're shaky. Well, they haven't been ran in how long? This thing has been registered to like 1980. Ooh. It smells bad. Look at all the smoke, you guys. Oh my God. Don't you think the value of this car 
is much higher than twenty thousand. One hundred percent. Like, what would you guess? I would say starting at forty. This no. If someone wants it bad enough. Cleaned up, you think? Even if the value is five grand more. Hey, this power steering and everything. This thing cruises. Look at how big that wheel is. It's a bad boy right here. Hey, hit the horn. Dude. It's kind of deep. <laughs> I think before we risk breaking down in the middle of the road, we need to bring this to the shop and really tune it up. Let's just go clean it out. This thing hasn't been ran. Maybe it, maybe it just needs to reseat the rings. I mean, uh, hopefully the temperature is right. We're about to find out. We're driving into town, boys. How much fuel do we have? It says almost three quarters. was that? Did it shut off? Yeah. Dead, dead, dead. You're going off road. Here, don't hit the brake. Just guide into here. Okay. We're, uh, we're, don't hit the brake, dude. We got to <laughs> We officially broke down. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't make it too far. <laughs> Dang it. What happened? Now we're going to have to walk home. I thought you were going to drive into the grass up <laughs> I think something gave out. We made it about not even, uh, <laughs> not even, uh, probably 500 feet from, from the neighborhood. Oh, we're smoking. Oh, yeah, there's oil coming out. Oh, something, see, something blew out. It's never a good sign when there's oil. What's going on? All right. Good, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. Y'all need any help? Oh, uh, we just broke down. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> we live just right around the corner. <laughs> That's what's cool about North Carolina is there's just so many cool people out. This guy just stopped in the Jeep. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> well, if you end up needing anything, just, I'm... Well, thank you very much. Yeah, over here. Man, I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. Yeah, see, this old boy has points in it. Hey, you've never seen a set of points, have you? No. I, don't hear, I hear spark. I don't see it, though. No, I, 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 could, I could watch the little thing hitting, but it's not. I don't see sparks actually coming out. All right, well, let's... Uh, do we have the trailer at your house? No, but what we could do is just go and get my truck. I have all the ropes in it. <laughs> tow it? And we're going to tow it. That's <laughs> all we can do. <laughs> Run, Forrest! Thinking, should we pull what I'm up? thinking is, why don't we let the thing roll forward, okay. and then we pull in behind it, put a rope on the back. Ooh, this concrete's hot. Ooh. I think that'll be good. At least we don't have to go too far. Uh, we're making it work. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. <laughs> hey, if anything, you guys, this is just fun memory. I just just want to make sure his brakes and everything are working. You feeling good? I bet we made it realistically probably like a mile and a half from my dad's. When I did the run, it wasn't it wasn't crazy. I did it in about like 10 to 10 to 15 minutes, and but I wasn't gonna shoot for like a record time or anything like that. Oh yeah. This is just like old times. I can't tell you how many times I've had to pull my old 59 Chevy truck home.
I think at this point in the episode, uh, you know, we got it back to my pop's house. This is this is gonna be part one to the Lincoln. Uh, you know, it's a fun build. My dad and I are super excited about it. If anyone has any ideas on a power plant, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think worst case here in case we can't get that motor actually working and running. We're gonna try as hard as I can to get it actually running. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. If you're a fan of Lincoln's and uh, you, you subscribe to the channel, I'm really excited for you uh, to just watch the content that we do with this. Uh, we, get, we still got to figure out if those wheels are even going to fit and actually just do what we can to make this thing look cool for, for what we have with it. So have a blessed day. See you guys. Dad, that wasn't so bad, huh? No. I mean, I, I think the motor's toast. You do? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs>